Hello, I just want to quickly go over this worksheet graphing earthquakes and plate boundaries. And what we're doing here, and it gives some description, um, what we're doing is looking at uh, at least a few of the major earthquakes that have happened over the last um, 15 to 20 years. And marking on a map where they occurred. And we're going to see a relationship between plate boundaries and most earthquakes that are of any significant magnitude. Now, we can't map them all. You know, at, at any given time around the Earth, there might be earthquakes that are going on. Even earthquakes that are mild in the 4 to 5 range, there could be thousands of those every year around the globe. We're just going to graph 16. So you've got your data table down here and it says earthquakes 8.0 plus and then just lists them out. The, the numbers on the top are just for earthquake 1, earthquake 2, earthquake 3, earthquake 4, 5 and you can see that there's 16 earthquakes. There's also latitude and longitude for each earthquake. We are going to graph those. Now your paper looks like this. What you're going to need to do, though, is fill in both the latitude and the longitude. And I'll show you what that looks like here. You're going to want to pause this at some point and do the same thing that I've done. Zero longitude just touches the edge of England right here. You can see it goes up to 180, so going from zero by tens. 180 all the way at the end, and then zero going by tens up to 180 again over here. Not all the way to the edge, though, you'll notice. Uh, and then our latitude, the zero degree latitude or the um, equator, goes through the top part of South America right here. And then we go up by tens up to 90 at the top and then by tens down to 90 towards the bottom. So you're gonna copy this just like I have it. Again, you might need to pause this. You'll also want to mark north. This area is north latitude. This area is south latitude. Longitude, this side of the zero is west longitude. This side of the zero is east longitude. So now I'm going to graph three of these earthquakes with you. So we take a look here. Earthquake number one, it's at 45 degrees north, 160 west. All right, so latitude first, north is above, so 45 is right between here and 160 west, here's west, 160 is this line go straight up 160 and it's right there and you're going to color that in just put a dot there if you have colored pencils or markers that'd be good pencil is okay or even a colored pen is fine but uh, if you make a mistake it's harder to erase it let's do the second one 20 south 75 west so south latitude 20 is here 75 west is here so we go 75 is right there, 20 is here. I'm gonna mark that. I'll do one more with you. Five south, 95 east for earthquake number three. All right. So now I'm five degrees south of the equator. That's in between zero and 10 and 95 east. Well, east is over here. So here's 90 and 100. 95 is right in the middle. 95, I go up and five over, and it looks like five and 95, okay? You're gonna do the rest of those, and what you should see is that there is a pattern that develops. Most of these major earthquakes are going to be along the plate boundaries because they're grinding against each other, causing these breaks in the rock. Okay, hope this helps. Thanks, bye.